Are you someone who journals or plan to, wish to? Why is that? And I don't mean it in a bad way. I'm just curious because I could never do it. The best I could ever do is a notebook that I call Timeline. And all I do there is log memorable moments. It's not every day. And it's mostly pictures and tags I rarely write. I knew that if I was going to start a journal and keep doing it, keep writing, I would need a reason. That's why I asked you in the beginning of the video why you do it. And the other day I was talking to Brittany from Evernote and she showed me how she does it. It was inspiring, but you know me. <laughs> I need something more tags related, Evernote related. And my reason was habit tracking. This is what I came up with. Uh, I choose five habits that I want to track. For example, when I'm drinking my first cup of coffee, I know that I spend too much time reading the same news from too many different sources. And I'm sure we can all agree that using part of that time to read a book would be more productive. But the question is how a journal in Evernote can help me build this new habit. I'm trying to come up with a system that is simple to log because if it's not simple, I'm not going to do it. And at the same time, help me see how I did, let's say maybe yesterday or last week or, or a year ago. But I didn't want to create a database. I wanted it to be meaningful, something that I would like and love to go there and write, put a picture, tags. At the same time, I needed some way to use that data. We have to discuss the habits I'm trying to build. I told you I selected five. However, there's a situation here. One of them is run or walk 10K steps. Let me show you how I fix this using the Boolean search. As you can see here, some notes have the run tag and other notes have the 10K tag. If I filter using 10K, I will only see the 10K notes. And of course, if I filter using the run tag, I will only see notes with the run tag. And if I use both run and 10K, there is no note with both tags. The problem will also happen if I use the advanced search. We have here notes in the habit tracker notebook. And if I use tag run, tag 10K, the same will happen. However, if I write four, it has to be in capital letters. Here we have it, the four notes. Now let's say I want to find all the notes with the tag read that also have run or 10K. It's also possible with the Boolean search. So let's do it. Tag read and now putting everything else inside parentheses. Take a look at the list. Monday has read and 10K and Saturday has run and read. Here we go. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There's much more on the final video. I'm still working on the system and I'll publish the final video in a couple of weeks, but I wanted to give you a sneak peek. I also wanted to try a new video format. So please let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching, see you soon.